homemade mashed potatoes. I know it seems easy, but it seems like a lot of people fail at it, and we want to show you what one of our foolproof ways of making mashed potatoes. What we're going to start it off with is we're going to put our saucepan, so we've got uh, it filled about halfway up with water, and we're using about two and a half pounds of russet potatoes. There's going to be debate on which is the best potato. A lot of chefs will tell you that the best potatoes will be Yukon Gold. According to the National Potato Association, it's going to be russets because of the water content. Just use whatever you like the best. It's, it's really based upon what flavors that you want and you like the best. All right. What I've done is I've chopped these off onto uh, equal little uh, sizes. I'm putting them in my water. We're going to boil that for 10 to 15 minutes. We're also going to make sure that we add about a teaspoon of salt to help uh, give our potatoes a little bit of flavor and to help the boiling process. We'll get that started in there, get it boiling, get it started, and we'll see you in a few moments. Potatoes have been on a uh, stove for a while, and when we were to take our knife and we stick it in there, we can see that it's nice and soft, but not too soft. Looks like we have a visitor <laughs> that's going to help us already here. All right, we're going to take. Hi, Gracie. All right, we're going to take our uh, potatoes and our colander over here to the sink. We're going to drain our potatoes. We're going to try to get them as dry as possible. So in doing that. Drain the potatoes. We're going to stick our potato just back in the pan. The heat's going to help dry them off. We're going to come back over here and stick them off to the side. We're going to then add our butter, which we are using four tablespoons of butter to our two and a half pounds of uh, potatoes that we had earlier. We're going to add one teaspoon of black pepper. See if we spread that out. Because we already put one teaspoon of salt earlier, we're only going to put another tea we're going to put another one teaspoon of salt in there now. If you would like to add more later on, that's up to you. It's up to depends on how you how salty that you like your potatoes. Mix that in. Okay. And then we're going to do this in a two-step process. We're going to stop off with a masher because if you go through and if you um, blend mix your uh, potatoes too long, they get that waxy feel. They become a little bit tough. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to take our smasher and smash this in. One of the reasons we did potatoes is because we did a lot of catering. And potatoes seem to be one of the most popular items at the catering event. Most caterers will tell you that you do an average of four to six ounces of potatoes per serving. And what ends up happening is that whenever we would do it, we would run out. And then the next event, we would do six to eight ounces. And then the next one, we finally ended up doing 10 to 14 ounces and still almost running out of potatoes because everyone loves potatoes so much. But they have that fresh, potato flavor. All right, we've mixed in the, the butter, the salt, and the pepper. We're now going to add three-fourths a cup of evaporated milk. And we'll go set out to the side. I'm just going to mix that in. Give it a nice little consistency. And now we're going to over. There's a tip. We're going to actually mix the potatoes in the sink because we know it's going to make it just a little bit of a mess. So that will help us keep the kitchen clean. Just going to move over here. We're going to set the potatoes down. I know you can't see very much of it. And then we're just going to mix the potatoes up in the sink. Now we've got a blender or a mixer here that pretends that on low it's on high. So it's a little scary. At the very end of the um, of baking the potatoes, we're going to add one third a cup of heavy whipping cream. Just going to add that little bit of extra richness to it and flavor. Mix that in. So your potatoes are nice and smooth and yummy and delicious. Recipe will be at the end of the uh, uh, video. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to Twisted Mics.